All right. What do we got here? We have, Brian, uh, as always, Retro Raw, but a special edition here where we, we begin with WWF King of the Ring highlights. Holy mm-hmm. God. Two incredible matches for completely different reasons. Yeah. Ju- yes. Go ahead. June 24th, 2001 is all I was going to say. Yes. Let me, let me say a little something about this Shane McMahon match. I haven't watched this match in, like, I don't remember the last time I watched 19 it. years? Nah, yeah. we might have watched it for a show sometime, right. but it's been a while. And this is like an all timer. Like yeah. I don't want to ever see anything like this again. But for what it was, it was an all timer. It starts out like the very first thing that happens is Shane McMahon jabs this fucking guy right in the eye. <laughs> yep. And he busts his eye and Kurt Angle is bleeding all over. And Kurt fires up and he's fucking fuming yep so in storyline okay in storyline what happened was shane mcmahon ran wild on this guy and busted him open yep so in storyline shane should be excited happy victorious this fucking guy rolls out of the ring and he looks up and he sees kurt angle with blood dripping down his face and Kurt's furious. Mm-hmm. You've never seen a dude more fucking petrified than Shane McMahon was at this very moment. And I can't blame him. And Paul Heyman's on commentary and he's like, he needs to apologize. And I'm like, God <laughs> damn straight, this fucking guy needs to apologize. He needs to apologize to generations of angles after this one. Angle beats the shit out of this guy. And obviously the big spot is they go for the overhead belly-to-belly through legitimate glass, by the way. Yep. This is not that bullshit glass. This is real glass. And the fucking glass doesn't break. And when Shane McMahon falls down, and there's that right on his head on the cement, mm. it's like, dude, why did this match continue? And not only does the match continue, but Kurt is determined to put him through this fucking glass. So he tries a second time, and Shane goes through the glass, and they're both fucking cut six ways from Sunday. They're shredded. They're, they're like bleeding cheese. everywhere. And now the spot is, Kurt needs to get him through the other plane of glass to get him out of there. Now, listen, I'm not saying I'm a superior wrestler to Kurt Angle, but okay. just fucking throw the guy through the glass that's already broken after that shit that just went down. No. Kurt's got to put him through the glass. It doesn't break again. And Shane falls on his head. Kurt tries it again, and it doesn't break. And at least that time, Kurt kind of sort of put him down. And then finally, he just throws him face first through the glass, and it's fucking, there's glass everywhere. Kurt tries to pin the guy. The referee says it's not false count anywhere. Kurt is almost in tears. He's like, fucking, can we just end this? The ref won't end it. So he's got to drag this dude's ass back to the ring. Shane gets a tiny comeback. And then they do the big-ass Olympic slam off the platform that Kurt makes out of a piece of wood. And he pins this guy in the middle ring. I got no notes here. This is just all off the top of my head. I remember every moment of this. Like, I could never forget it. And I just watched this match. And if you ignore the human toll, it's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. An unbelievable performance by both of these guys. Yeah. Legendary. But you know what? I'm no doctor. I don't know shit about Shane McMahon's health at age 51 or whatever he is right now. But I watched this guy go out and do promos last couple of years. And it's like he cannot remember any of his lines. And it's very distressing to me. And I watched this match and it's like, Dude, what the fuck? The fucking guy lands on his head straight upside down on the cement, and they just kept going for another 15 minutes. I know that we watch all of this stuff, and a lot of people think that, oh, you know, people get hurt, and, you know, they get a concussion or whatever, and they recover, and everything's fine. Dude, some people, they get one head injury, and they're never the same. And most People listening to this right now, walking down the street, if you had what happened to you 
what happened to, if you had what happened to Shane McMahon happen to you, your life's probably never going to be the same. So I hope that Shane McMahon is all right. I hope the guy is fine. But dude, when I watch him do this crazy shit at his age and falling off the cell and all of this shit that he's still doing, the coast-to-coast -coast drop kick where he knocks himself out when Roman Reigns spears him, it is late 40s. I just fear that this is going to have a bad ending. And this match certainly did not make me feel any better about that. This this would be the bad beginning of that bad ending. Yeah. <laughs> so. God damn. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month. You get full access to all of the episodes, over three hundred at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.